Hey everyone, uh, welcome to your weekly sun sign horoscope uh, for the week of July 13th to 19th of 2022. This will pertain to your sun, moon, or rising. So if you have Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising, or let's say Gemini sun, Gemini moon, Gemini rising, whatever your sign is, just watch the video for your sign, whether it be for your sun, moon, or rising. Uh, this week we have the full moon in Capricorn. I will also be pulling a card for some clarity for based on your sign for this week. That being said, let's get into the charts for your sign. Hey Scorpio, how you doing this week? So, this full moon in Capricorn is going to be happening in your third house of the mind, balancing out the ninth house of beliefs. This is higher learning versus, you know, your curiosity, your knowledge. It's going to be expansion versus you existing within your local environment. Now, are you nurturing the right parts of your mind? Are you, do you, does your mind match your emotions? Are, do, they, do they align with your goals? Right? Do you, this, this is the moon here helping you to, nur to, nurture, to nurture these thoughts, to convert them, you know, maybe into some, some goal-oriented stuff because we've here we've got it trying to these nodes. The north node here in your seventh house conjunct Uranus, and the south node here in your sign, Scorpio, in the first house. So what aspects of yourself, of the self, do you need to transmute? or maybe even to let go of, to move into a more balanced state, to have others see the unique value in you, right? This is going to be the transmutation of these, of these old beliefs, of these limiting emotions. Capricorn could be restricting of these emotions, restricting of, of the mind. It's like you need to expand, Scorpio. You need to nurture this expansion. And Pluto is here going to help to give you, give you power to this, to actually see in your own mind, to see your to realize the goals that you need to pursue, the path you need to pursue in order to take you to this place where other people can truly see your own value and your own worth and to lead you to relationships that can get you to that life of that beautiful worth and balance instead of sitting here stuck just with yourself, obsessing over yourself. You need, to sh you need to show the world what you've got, Scorpio. Show them what you've got. Here we've got this trying to Neptune here in your fifth house, right? This is the dream in terms of aspects of love, unconditional love, expression of that love. Are you flowing with that love? We're going to have the sun conjunct Mercury here in Cancer, nurturing this expansion, the expansion of this, this flow of love this nurturing of this, you know, the dream that you love, right, Scorpio? You want to move forward into this more balanced, beautiful world state instead of stuck here being, you know, obsessed with, with the self. You need to transmute aspects of yourself to move forward into this new space. Then here on the weekend, Scorpio, we have Venus leaving Gemini and entering into Cancer, which is your ninth house. Again, this is expansion of your relationship, right? We're moving from the self towards more of an aspect of your relationships and expanding in that and being curious about that. So Venus also rules aspects of career, money, you know, it can be your val what's, what's valuable to you, self-worth for you. This is in balance in your relationships. You want your relationships to be that which are worthy to you, and you want your relationships to see your own worth, to see what you can offer them and the world around you. And that involves the expansion, the expansion of your mind, the expansion of this, of this vision, especially the expansion of this dream of love. All right, and if we move towards Tuesday here, we can see this sun opposition Pluto. Pluto, your ruling planet here in Capricorn. This is a transformation. This is helping to balance out this, 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 this expansion for you to expand. And expand especially in terms of the dream of, of love and reaching that balance in terms of your relationships and in your self-worth. And allowing your relationships to see your worth that you have to offer them. Let's pull a card for you, Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio, let's pull a card for you for this week. So I am using the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine. Let's grab the cards and pull one up for you here. 
clear the energy off of that deck for you, and let's see what the universe has in store for you for this week, Scorpio. Let's go, let's get some clarity. All right, let's see, Scorpio. What does the universe have for Scorpio this week? A one card for the Scorpios. Oh, there's two popping up there. We just want one. A one card for the Scorpios for this week. What have we got? Oh, this might be a tough one, Scorpio. Let's see here. What card do we have for Scorpio? There's just too, too much happening. We just want one card for the Scorpios this week. Maybe the universe wants more clarity. I don't know. I don't know, Scorpio, but you've got these Ten of Swords. So again, with that moon in your third house, dealing with some kind of thoughts, mind, you need to expand on your beliefs. There's a transformation aspect happening here to find that balance in your life and also within the relationships and the people around you. It says endings, recovery, and freedom. Live your freedom this week, Scorpio. Have a good one and enjoy. Take care. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and hit that bell for notifications. Feel free to comment if you want to comment. Um, if you want more in-depth into the general astrology for this week, then check out my weekly reading. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on social media or get any uh, kind of reading with me, all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.